if the speaker needs to be replaced, it's very easy to replace it, and therefore, uh, very quickly and off you Is go. Is that something I do or you Something do? that I would do. You just walk in and we can change it for you in a matter of seconds. Okay. Okay. All we, it's under warranty uh, for, for two years, and after that, there's a charge for it, but it's a very minimal charge, a lot less than sending it back to the factory for repair. Sure. Okay. The batteries. It takes a size 312 battery. You notice the brown tape on the battery. Uh, do not take that tape off until you're ready to use it. When you are ready to use it, brown is the operative color for this size battery. When you are ready to use it, just peel off the battery tape. And then the battery companies tell us for best results, let the battery sit for about a minute before you actually put them in the hearing aid. They're air activated. That's what the A stands for. So if, you need, if you're in a pinch and you need to go buy batteries somewhere and it doesn't say A, they'll still work. Okay, don't worry about that. But the air means, uh, A means air activated, which means when you take the tape off, they're activated and they climb to its peak and takes a few uh, a minute or so to do that. Worst case scenario, you have to throw it in there because you're in the middle of a meeting or a wedding or a favorite TV program. You won't harm the instrument or the battery, you just may get a few hours less life. So if I put the hearing aids in when I wake up in the morning and I take them out when I go to bed at night, mm -hmm. how often do I have to change batteries? Probably once a week. Okay. Okay. There is a, another option that is rechargeable. You can make these hearing aids rechargeable if you like. All right, and we can talk about that. That is an accessory upgrade where we get a new battery door that fits into a charger and a lithium battery, and then that battery can uh, be recharged every night for a period of about a year. Mm. And then you buy a new lithium battery, okay? We can talk about that in a later okay. appointment. All right, so we put the hearing aid in the battery, uh, the battery in the hearing aid, into the little door here. The door opens up towards the wire from the bottom. Okay. Comes to a stop here, and then opens. The battery will go then flat side up, plus side, that's the positive side of the battery, and you notice there's also a little plus, very small, on the door. Okay, and then you'll close that battery. Would you like to put this battery into that hearing aid? Very good. Now these are called domes. The domes are a little uh, rubber piece that will fit on top of this. All right, you can put that one on there as I do it. So, because you'll need to change these from time to time. And you just pull it off, but when you put a new one on, there's a little hole on the bottom, and you just kind of guide it into the hole and then press it onto the, onto the tip of that with this hand using the force because you have to actually widen that you're spreading that rubber tube which is smaller than the tip of the speaker okay, press that's a little from, difficult yeah press from the top there you go you got it once you get it you'll kind of figure it out and it won't give you problems again so now There's it's on one the left and one to right good question Notice how one of them is red and one of them is blue on the tip, correct? Correct. Red is right, RR. Okay. okay, so this is going to go on your right ear and then this one will go on your left ear. I will put it on right now and then I'll show you how to do it afterwards. Okay. Okay, it's going to go on top of your ear like that. Then this part is going to go into the ear. And then this little piece, once it's in, you just kind of push it into your canal and there it will sit, right like that. I can already hear you. Yeah. It's on and it's live. And this one. So that's a good fit for you. Now, whether or not we leave these domes open like this will depend on how much volume we want to give you. Because as we give you more volume, you're going to want to keep more of that sound in your ears. Sound will have the effect of wanting to escape out of your ears. It sounds real loud now. It sounds real loud. Okay, so they're not programmed for you yet. Okay. They come with a factory spec programming. I'm going to take them off. I just wanted to make sure they fit okay. Now we're going to bring them over to the computer. 
Do they have an on-off switch so when I take them out at night? That's off with the battery doors open. Gotcha. Okay. That's on with the battery doors closed. Gotcha. How will I know the batteries are no good anymore because because I can't hear, right? Correct. Well, either that or if it happens while you're wearing the instrument, it will give you a signal, a three-tone signal. Bing, bing, bing. And I'll play that for you when we get them on. Okay.